Ravens on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, seven. Ravens fam. So, James Prochet, just a little, little video. Shout out to my fellow, fellow Texan. James Prochet, De DeSoto, Texas, Dallas, Texas. So, you know, he's been killing it in the uh, practice. Um, Preseason, to be determined. But, I know some people might be like, you know, we haven't seen enough of him. Granted, granted, yeah, that's true. But, we saw him last year with that terrible offensive line. We seen flashes when he had tremendous amount of opportunities, I would say. Um, Burkos, week four, we showing five receptions, 74 yards. Average of 14.8. Dog. Okay. Then we go all the way to the Bengals game where we had the janitors playing as our cornerback. Where 500 Burrow showed up, seven receptions, 76 yards, and a 10.9 average. My opinion, he should be getting a lot more chances than that. Because from the Lions game, week three, is showing one reception, 29 yards. Broncos, week four, as I stated, five receptions, 74 yards. Then Colts, two receptions, 15 yards, 7.5 average. That is a great three weeks without that much attention of him getting the chance to ball out. Then right after that, we go week six, seven. We was on a bye week. Nine, 10, 11, all that goes all the way to week 15. So he gets on the field again and gets the chance to do anything. Why all of those weeks and no chance? That doesn't make sense. Uh, to this day, I still don't understand it. If you know, please put that in the comments. Because it doesn't make sense. But this year, they have to give him a chance. We know Bateman is wide receiver one. In my opinion, Prochet is wide receiver two. Then you have Dev as wide receiver three. Then for as wide receiver four, we don't know, honestly. Because I believe it might be Tyler Wallace, but from reports, he's having a roller coaster of a practice. So he's going to have to redeem himself. In the preseason. And some players, they don't practice good. But when it's game time, that switch hit. And they are a different person. So, to be determined. But, Prochet got to get that. He he got to be our wide receiver number two. I know some people are like, well, Dev. Dev is like a kick returner, really. He, he's kind of like that Jacoby Jones. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Jacoby. But, um. Yeah, he, he has to be that, that that number two. Yeah, he's not that fast, but you know who else wasn't fast? Bowden. And we all know when Flacco got Bowden, different level. When Flacco got Desha uh uh Mason, Derek Mason, different level. And Mason wasn't fast either. But 50-50 balls, group route running. You can always depend on Flacco was like Mason. After Mason left, he had Bowden. You throw it to him. And to me, I believe Lamar will have that with Prochet. Because we know Mark Andrews going to get out. They double-team Mark Andrews. They double-team uh, Bateman after Bateman started getting off. That's Prochet right there. Hey, all Wallace, they might put... Uh, oh, I say Wallace. Uh, Dev, they might put Dev out there. But it's going to be some chances because Isaiah likely is going to start getting that. And that's going to be sweet. 
Ooh, Lord. Ooh. Mm. Um, got Bateman right on the, on the left side. Got Mark Andrews and got Isaiah Likely. And then Prochet. Ooh. It's going to be some cooking going on. But anyway. So what y'all think? What y'all? What, 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 what's y'all wide receiver position? We know wide receiver one is Bateman. After that, who do you all have? Put that in the comments. Let's have a little conversation about it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. You already know. God bless.